Hickok 45 here. You know, there's really only one thing better than a nice revolver. Two of them. <laughs> Did I hit anything? I'm going to just go up here and talk about it. Yeah, got two pretty nice Smith & Wesson revolvers. I believe the model number is 686. Yeah, one of them's even a plus. This one felt a little safer for some reason. I'm not sure why. Oh, I see. It's got the key lock. Yeah, it just felt much safer. Uh, that's right. That's why I put it in my uh, weak hand, my left hand. Thought I'd be a whole lot safer that way, you know? Yeah. So what do you think? Does that ruin it? Well, let's have a brief discussion about that, whether or not the key lock ruins the Smith & Wesson, okay? Yeah, and I wanna thank Bud's Titan in the industry. Great outfit, great outfit. Been a supporter for a long time. Silencer Central, man, they do one thing and they do it really, really well. High quality outfit. SDI.edu. Great place to get some distance learning, gunsmithing, and, and other aspects, wood checkering, you name it. Okay, check them out. We appreciate you supporting the people that support us. Let's get the empties out of here. Although empties are generally not too dangerous, maybe, unless you swallow one. <laughs> yeah, just a, a brief discussion of this. It comes up all the time, doesn't it? Uh, everywhere, comments, social media, for over 20 years it's come up yeah a lot and the key lock ain't purdy it ain't purdy it kind of <laughs> whoa i'm giving away the answer i started to say it kind of ruins this gun for me this these are both mine and you see the difference don't you look at that there is a difference in the uh beauty the look because you've got that ugly key lock there and that, I won't give you all the history, you can look it up, but that kind of came around the uh, year 2000, 2001, long in there. Uh, Smith & Wesson was having financial issues, you know, they changed the ownership two or three times. They were trying to keep up with the market. Uh, revolvers, you were being replaced by semi-automatics and, and police departments and all that, and a lot of the big contracts, and, you know, Glock was eating their lunch, and SIG, and everybody else, and... They came out with the Sigma, which was not a huge success, right? And uh, had lawsuits over that. Uh, cities, states maybe, were suing all the gun companies. They signed an agreement, a contract, I think, with HUD, the Housing Urban Development uh, uh, Group. And uh, that was under Clinton and Cuomo and everything. They kind of sicked the dogs on the gun companies. And Smith & Wesson, uh they made a big mistake i guess they uh they agreed to some things they probably shouldn't have agreed to and some of the other gun companies were upset with them and i think they threw some other companies under the bus a little bit either intentionally or not intentionally they had to agree to a lot of things one of them was that key lock okay and ever since they started putting those in there we have been complaining haven't we and you'll see you'll see two schools of thought on it won't you uh for one thing i don't think it helps that much it's really awkward to me to, to lock and unlock and mess with man it's not it's not like it's some quick way you could you can keep your gun safe and loaded and then you can very quickly get access to it if you need to i i don't see it as that i'd rather have a trigger lock or a lot of other things have it unloaded and loaded you really quickly so they don't serve a purpose in, in most situations there, there are a few where it might be I have never used this one. I'm not even sure it works. I've got another Smith with it, and it, I don't think I've ever used it, and never will. Uh, some people probably do, all right? So you got people who hate it, you got people who kind of like it maybe, and you got a, a, a fairly large group of people, it just doesn't bother, okay? So I kind of talking to you folks that it doesn't bother. You think we, the rest of us make too big a deal out of it. And that's probably because most of us uh, are traditionalists. Maybe we're a little older. And we remember Smith when they were Smith. Winchester when they were Winchester. This is what a Smith's supposed to look like. Not have some goofy hole drilled in and that kind of thing. Uh, so, uh, understandably, it might not bother you as much. A sleeved barrel. I, I mean, I've seen people just really rant and get upset with the rest of us traditionalists. And so what is wrong with you people? Sleeve barrels actually better, stronger maybe. 
the key lock can be useful. It doesn't hurt anything. And I, maybe they're right. There have been instances where they activated when they weren't supposed to and that kind of thing locked up. But by and large, they don't really hurt anything. It's just a visual thing. There's a hole in my frame. I don't want a hole in my frame, right? I can barely even hide that hole in a holster. Speaking of which, we also appreciate Alabama holster. Great little Kydex concealment holsters of all sorts. Pocket, belt, purse, you name it. Check them out, okay? So, bottom line on that is, uh, does it ruin a Smith? And I guess it depends on who you're talking to. For me, it kind of does. I really wanted a three inch uh, 686 pretty badly, and I did buy that many years ago. I love the gun, it shoots great and all that, but I, I just, I, I like this one a, a great deal more, okay? Because it does not have that hole in it. And I, my little J frames, I just won't buy them. You can get those without the hole, the key lock, and those are the ones I get if I have to pay more. So it, the answer really is it doesn't ruin the gun probably doesn't hurt it one way or the other much unless you have one of those little guns that kicks a lot and maybe it's not reliably uh, staying deactivated. That's a big problem. I've heard of that happening. But by and large, it's not a big problem. It's just extremely ugly. It shouldn't be there. If I'm making Lincoln Continentals, do they make those anymore? Escalades, whatever it is, and I decide, oh, we need to put a uh, big ugly hood ornament on that thing to make it safer you know some people would like it a lot of people wouldn't like it right so anyway the key lock uh to me it does kind of ruin it cosmetically but it doesn't ruin the gun functionally i guess is the answer what do you think what is your verdict i've heard from a lot of you on that uh <laughs> unsolicited of course but what, what do you think uh do you buy them with that uh do you use it uh would you buy one with the key lock would you pay more to avoid it and all that sort of thing? Let, let us know, because uh, I'm doing a survey. <laughs> Actually, I'm really not. But I appreciate y'all coming by and uh, having a short discussion about that thing, because it is such a topic of discussion. I just thought I'd bring it up and make some of you mad. Yeah, life is good. Before you leave, I want to remind you to check out our friends Talon Gun Grips and Ballastol. Talon Gun Grips have been a staple of the channel for years. As you know, they make grip tape, that you can attach to the grip of your handgun or the pistol grip on your rifle and honestly anything you're trying to not drop and have a better handle on right also ballastol of course dad's been using ballastol since the 90s it's been a staple on the channel as well they make a it's a cleaner and a lubricant it's non-toxic it's a great product anything for your guns or anything you're trying to lubricate it's a great way to go thank you guys so much for watching the video